gosh, guys. Welcome, welcome. My name is Magdalene Janet. If you are new, welcome back to all my oldies but goodies. But if you're new, don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I'm always here, literally a lot, like four, about four or five times a week. I have nothing on my lips. They low key look kind of dry, but we're going to fix that right now because I just got this Dior, what is it called? Rouge Dior mini lipstick kit. I guess that's what it's called. And I saw on Sephora that this kit retails for $50. So I thought $50 for four lipsticks, that's not bad. I mean, they're mini lipsticks, but they're lipsticks and they're Dior, you know? So I've never purchased anything from the Dior before because it's expensive, you know? Especially now because it's the fall and all like the holiday gift sets have arrived to Sephora and Ulta. And I feel like it's such a great opportunity to gift to someone or to yourself something that you normally wouldn't buy because I wouldn't buy a lipstick. I don't even know how much the originals cost, but I wouldn't buy the full price. So I figure we kind of get it in a sale, you know? So let's see. This box is very, very nice. And on the back is what you get. Let me just push it off the other way. All right, it comes in this. And let's open her. Oh, look! The lipsticks are not as small as I thought. Like, you know how minis usually are like this big? But let's see. This is the shade 999 Velvet. Oh yeah, it is. Just kidding, it is the mini. <laughs> Oh, look at this. So it's a true mini size, but it has the CD there. I'm honestly not a name brand type of girl. Like I don't buy things because they're name brand, but I've heard so many great things about these specific lipsticks, how they're really nice. They're universal shades. They glide on, they look beautiful on the lips. And they're just good lipsticks in general. So that's why I wanted to try it out to show you guys how all these look you know it's four of their very well-known shades if you are new and you've never seen a lip swatching video of mine at the very beginning i do lip swatches in studio lighting and in daylight except for today because i was really excited so my intro was a lot longer and then towards the end of the video we talk about the lipsticks how they feel how they smell if there's anything wrong little tidbits that i find and just to tell you guys if you in case you're in the market for for new lipsticks or shades that are similar to this you know so let's just get started with the lip swatches starting off with the shade 100 nude look matte This is the shade Nude Look Matte. And in daylight, this is Nude Look Matte. Moving on to 772 Classic Matte. This is the shade Classic Matte. And in daylight, this is Classic Matte. Next one up is 824 Saint or Saint Germain Satin. This is Saint Germain Satin. And in daylight, this is Saint Germain Satin or Saint. You know what I mean. Last but not least is 999 Velvet.
This is the shade 999 Velvet. And in daylight, this is Velvet. All right, fam, this is it. This is the last one. I just love this beautiful red shade so much. It's so flattering. I'm not a big red, well, no, I am. But I don't like like the orange bright undertone red. And this one is perfect. It's not blue undertone, but it's not orange. I feel like it's something in between where it makes it to where it will be flattering to any skin tone. Like this red, is beautiful it has like a slight creamy matte feeling to it i did not want to like these lipsticks as much as i did they were very very creamy they have like the old school lipstick smell i can't describe that smell but i remember smelling it like every lipstick i swear in the 90s smelled like that old school well it's now old school but that it has that scent that doesn't bother me once your lipstick's on you don't smell it but you can really smell it as you're applying it you know because y'all you're close to your nose and these shades they're all beautiful i feel like they're all very flattering to most skin tones each lipstick went on so so freaking creamy when i mean creamy even this matte one which in the lipstick bullet can tell it is a matte shade because it's not shiny <laughs> or creamy, it has this very creamy feel to it. Very, very, very comfortable. I bought this little kit on Sephora's website. They are currently sold out. I'm sure it'll come back. Hopefully it comes back, but it's also in Dior's website. You get the four lipsticks for the $50. Is it expensive? Yes, because it's a whole $50, but you're getting four lipsticks. Yes, they're mini size, but I feel like it's a good way to get high-end makeup products for a little bit cheaper. So I really like that these holiday kits do do that because I take advantage a lot of times when it's super high-end, very expensive makeup that is over my $50 budget. I like to, you know, just try it out. I like to show you guys different types of products, especially products that I don't really review on my channel because, you know, your girl's on a budget, always on a budget, you know? These lipsticks are very, very comfortable. Most importantly, they're just very flattering to skin tone. I loved all these shades. I think they're super, super beautiful. They're different too. Like they're not your typical nude. They're not your typical red. They're just very, you're not your typical plum. Even the plum shape, well, it's kind of, like plummy a lot of times plum shades are very patchy but each and every one of these lipsticks was very pigmented not too pigmented though but not lackluster you got enough pigment on your lips the only thing i did not like as you guys can see i do have smaller lips that's one of the things i love about mini lipsticks is that they are in a mini size and you can really outline your lips with a smaller bullet but girl, this was so hard to outline my lips. Like I messed up in every lipstick. I had to really concentrate and, and pretty much fix it. I don't know, this shape I thought would be helpful to really outline your lips, but it wasn't really helpful to my lips. I also don't have a huge cupid's bow, so that may be an issue. If you have fuller lips with a defined cupid's bow, it may be a lot easier. I always look for how difficult it is to apply lipsticks because not everyone has lips, big lips. Not everyone has defined cupid's bow. So these were really hard to apply. Like it didn't really go on straight i was all over out of the line a lot of times i do find that it's the shape of the lipstick that is really helpful in outlining your lip anytime i do first impressions or lip swatches i like for you guys to see the true true color especially in daylight and lip liners just tend to alter the shades whenever i wear these lipsticks i would i will wear a lip liner because i know it is hard and i will be going all outside of the lines lip liners do help you outline your lips like without messing up it kind of creates a little barrier for like a creamy lipstick to just go on top so that's the only thing i didn't like about it and you know you have to be very specific especially when something's expensive and each lipstick retails for 38 dollars so that's a little bit pricey they have a ton of great reviews on sephora 1300 five star positive reviews so that's always good because on sephora it's a hit or miss i kind of believe this because 
yeah they're they're up there i want to just add how beautiful these shades look in daylight that's why i do these because it just gives you a different look a more realistic look too but i feel like in daylight these shades especially these were a lot more flattering right the studio lighting i mean they look good here but i'm just saying i'm like shocked <laughs> I'm just very pleasantly surprised how well these work. A lot of time high-end makeup, just because it's expensive, it doesn't mean it works out well. Sometimes you get great products and sometimes you get shitty products, you know? But this is good. This is all good. I love the package. I love how it has like the little Dior there. It's the details that are very noticeable and chic and beautiful. And yeah, I really, really like this. And this is my first Dior anything. So not too bad. Merry Christmas to me two and a half months before but yeah okay let me know which one is your favorite lipstick have you tried these these are not new at all but you know this little pack is if so which color do you have let me know oh let's see if they are transfer proof oh look i didn't even show you wow you see and then yeah well they're not transfer proof i love you guys so so much thank you for hanging out with me and spending a little bit of your day with me please don't forget to like subscribe click the button right here and i'll see you in the next one bye